Welcome back to Let's Play Rome 2 Total War as punters on very hard. My name is Kiam and let's get right back to where we were in the end of last episode. We were about to take the last village of Cappadocia. The reason why we're going to fight this ourselves was because the odds in our result was just terrible. 62% this is not 62% I would say that would be around here we should have around 80 left but no so we're going to take this ourselves to prevent our losses to be way too high because we are also at war with Saluted and I think that would be a harsh war for us but time will will show Yeah, and we're gonna start deployment, and looks fairly okay. We are not going to wait for the general speech. We are just starting to improve our advance against The enemy army. We're going to let our slingers run and we're going to let our general run. The general might be used to uh, flank the enemy forces, especially the slingers, to will quickly destroy them. But we're going slowly with our swordsmen and hoplites because we don't want them to be too tired before the match even though it should be a secure victory this is the first time we are having these units in a battle so it's good to see how they look and once again i really like the models now our slingers should be yeah they are quite well up and our general is right behind them and we can't hit them just yet but they do have a lot of slingers so i will not be sending my slingers towards um their slingers in the first run because if i do that they will just be annihilated so we're going to speed up and wait for forces to get over here they will be a little tired but because i marched them a bit of the way it will not be that bad. Now we're going to take the size of our army and slowly but surely march towards them. As soon as they start to fire upon us, we will start running. We can see we can hit, well, run close to where we are standing so we will not be stopping there we'll be going here and we will march slowly but securely towards them I do like Cappadocia's uh, general it looks kinda cool and I do also like ours general they do like cool as well but very Greek but does make sense since they uh, have Hellenic uh, culture now they start to react they may not have started to shoot upon us yeah it came right there so good choice uh, do I personally think and we will be starting to fire upon our enemy or attacking our enemy more precisely they will attack the hillsmen and spearmen and we will be hitting them quite hard the good thing about our uh, Pontic swordsmen they do have javelin to throw with that is something we have not have had yet of our units. It's a good thing, but 
personally, I do not like it, as I have stated previously in uh, this Let's Play. The reason why, I highly doubt that many units back in those days had javelins to throw with in every single battle they d participated in. I, I really doubt it, but well, this is just a game, I know, but I do like when a game does have some credibility. Yeah, we're going to charge into the cavalry, and yeah, now they can, <laughs> as they get surrounded, they start to run. We will not allow this. We want to kill that general ourselves. The missile units will stop firing because, well, there's no need to it anymore. I just want that general to die. Come on. There we go. Decisive victory. Yeah. Again, we were overwhelming force and not only f uh, numbers, but also in kind of units. Our army was professional. They did not have a single, yeah, <laughs> sort through the throat. It says everything. I'm going to occupy. And we do have control over the settlement. So, Kavajasha do have, they do have a big army, so it might be professional, so we may yet have a challenge ahead of us. Now, we're going to improve the growth of our villages. We do not have our spy back. So, by sea or by mountain, sire. Fifteen. Can't he? Seventy and twenty. Hmm. Let's try. Yeah, it failed. We fight for you, my lord. I cannot and will not. Wow. Our allies from... Wow, they, they actually sent some... It's not a big force they sent, but they did send some someone. And so it's destroyers. Yeah, if anyone of you have uh, a good idea for a name, especially to this army, our primary army and secondary army, uh, and well, also some of our defenders around. Please come with ideas. I would like to hear them. And if there's anyone, I really think well, that sounds very cool. I will definitely add your name to uh, force an army in here. We will wait another turn to make sure a side is. Well, protect it. Um, the garrison needs to build up a bit, as we can see here. So, we will just wait a single turn, and next turn we will take out Sardis if they do not attack us. But yeah, that's an oh. Yeah, I had totally forgotten about him. Plus one in cunning and champion. Once again, we want him to be able to train our forces very good. So we are working our way towards the militancy. If you think my voice is a bit different, it might be because uh, my nose is kind of annoying me at the moment. <laughs> I might be getting a cold. I'm not sure. Normally it takes a lot for me to be, be sick, but the issue is when I do get sick, I get really sick. <laughs> Sword Garrison. Rattus. Yeah, they are definitely not helping our cause in 
but they need to take a village and I do not believe they do have who is Flossy 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 That's Durius and that's Timon. You need one as well. Do we? N mm, it doesn't. No, we do not have. Well, we're going to take this. Who is Flussy? Him? No. Well, you are. Oh! General was Duris. Duris. He could use the more more rail, but I'm going to give it up here so we are properly defended in Nicomedia. As said, uh, we have just. So we can't go because of the champion joined us. I did. I w actually, I wasn't aware of that would happen. So, whoops. It looks like Agamemnon's pride. They do have elephants, but rather poor units as well. It might not be a terrible idea to have started this war against. I can, uh, against looted. So, as of now, it looks quite good. We are going to end the turn. We're going to save the bit of money we have to. Oh, no, we are not. We are going to convert. Well, we can't convert this yet, so. Next turn, we will convert it. And we will not have military in here. So. But I think if we take this down here, uh, all of the salutive uh, settlements, we will definitely make the farthest to the eastern borders. Non-aggressive pack. Well, <laughs> I'm tempted to say yes because I'm going to have a long war. So, yeah, we're going to take it now. But I'm sorry to say we're going to break this. Uh, at some point, when it's hard to say because this war may be very long yet, but it's hard to say. It depends on the action of certain AI players. <laughs> we will definitely give our own best to advance heavily and destroy the enemy. Yeah, we're going to take warfare. I can't see the enemy units, so. Oh, they got destroyed. Yay. Because now we can move our army. Duris assassin at him. Oh, don't do that. That's not... And Knossos... Uh, whoa, they took out the small force down here. Well, that's very nice of them. Yeah, take them. How to resolve. And I'm guessing block with the with the shield and sword to the face yeah <laughs> you are not in doubt when you see that kind of animation that the one with the sword through his throat did not do a very good job or did not have very good odds even I'm going to take general we want the rail bonus from it and we're going to make it to food now they have two hmm <sighs> they have two temples i do not like that fact and i do not even like those they have chosen so going to destroy the one in nicomedia uh iconium sorry Ic nicomedia and try to make something else actually some pretty hoplites 
they have sent hoplites so it's actually a, a good army they have uh, sent to help us so that's actually awesome uh, it's, um, oh, it's right over here. Yeah, we destroyed that and we want a temple of some sort. So we're going to move towards the enemy down here to send a small force which have the same name as our primary force. So yeah, if you do have any suggestion to a cool name or anything, please let me know. I would very much like it. Now, this is alone, so to avoid any issues, we're going to first of all de take no tax, destroy the farm and make a temple. The reason why I'm doing this is to get more control of the area, quite simply. <laughs> I think I'm going to send the army from Topesos up to the newly uh, villages. Or Solomon. Yeah, he does not have any great bonuses to trade or comrades or anything like that. So he's going to defend this and this will improve our public order. Now they do have another army. Pushing light arches. Well, I'm not that afraid of them anymore at least. But what I'm hoping to do is take this and take this and right away go down here. It's hard to say if that's even going to be possible for me. But I need first of all to make sure... Yeah, they do not have... We're going to try assassinate. Oh, he can't do it this turn. Well, no mind. Mm. As of now, it looks quite decent with uh, the situation in, in our nation. We have expanded a whole lot in the last few, t oh, not few, but in the last turns and we are keeping expanding. They do, do have a, what is it, dignitary or something like that, trying to affect our army. And he, I don't know if he succeeded, but he did go rank up, so that's not a good thing, at least. The needs of my people are simple. Well, yeah, trade with me, please, and give me more money. You are founding my military campaign to make sure you do not expand, and I do expand. I like Galatia right now. Maybe we could make them a separate team. Mm, nah, <laughs> I don't like that idea. I like the province I won. No, we do not want to allow that adoption. Now, we're going to take this. The reason why I'm going through this is because this doesn't seem that great to get open. And this is not something which is very important. But the next is improvement to our villages. This, um, or oh, settlements. The village will be able to get up to a minor settlement instead of a village. That's a very, very good thing. So definitely something we I need know. to go upon. Military disruption attempt. So it was only an attempt and he failed. Well, that's at least good news. Now we're going to march against... Yeah, there seems not to be any... Un yeah, no general or anything, so sword to the face again. Well, no. Block, sword in foot and went into the shoulder and probably into the lung from there. Yeah. Mm. Go and repair that and improve this village. So we are not doing good, we're doing great <laughs> as of now. We do have a lot of miners, but that will change rather soon. So this arm, my, our primary army will go down and take Tara. So we will go against Antioch. Well, they do have a uh, decent amount of force in uh, Antioch. So, so the question is, should we? Yeah, we should. I know, yeah, our numbers is not that great at all but mm, 
The mobs is what 90, so it's about 500 minus from this, at least. And the slingers is easily killed. But this army is well. It's not great, but it's not bad either. I can't decide if I should assault them or just hold the siege. I could hold the siege and if they do not attack me. Hmm. We're going to try and continue the siege and see if our primary force can get down on one turn to assist. If not and they decide to attack me. I would not mind it because it will require them to go outside and face me. As soon as we are talking about going outside and facing me, I'm already in a better situation. So I like the idea if they decide to do it, but time so I'll try to make military sabotage. Target is stopped. 21% we, we're going to try and see if we can do it failure well you tried <laughs> recently I failed an attempt yeah he, he definitely has so we're going to not end this turn yet we want to yeah now we're going to end this turn and hopefully hopefully we will be able to either get Saluna to attack us right now yeah they are so we're going to fight in the open field so I like that I think the idea for this match is going to be I'm going to take our my units and charge as fast as I can against these to get them eliminated. It's 800 less units to deal with. It's a huge force I'm up against and we just need to get some of them away. So we're going to try and win this battle even though we are outnumbered heavily. But we got a, prof a quite a professional army and let's hope that's enough. It, it's, it might not be to be honest, but we're going to try. I might uh, take my units upside the hill if they get any reinforcements and they will be arriving. No, a lot of them would be arriving by sea, so a lot of them will not be in play to begin with. That's actually very, very good. The slingers will not come into play in the beginning and we're just going to... Well, where are they? We're going to charge. And we're going to send a general with as well. So they're trying to take the high ground, which I necessarily do not mind. Well, I'm, I might should have taken it and went up here and then fought them because it does give a huge advantage. But one, yeah, wolf. So the general, oh, that this is really, really good because the elephants will not have elephants because they are arriving by ship. So the advantage they had in a big animal, which I did fear a bit because they are good to have and they can cause a lot of damage. They will not have that advantage. This is actually very, very good. Well, if you're eager to fight, why are you running? The question is, should I be taking it more slowly? Well, some enemies does say, yeah, you should, and some enemies say, no, you should not. Because they have to fight me. And maybe I should just try to get up the hill and have that advantage against them and let them join up. I know it's against what I talked about, but I 
I just feel like if I try to run against these, they will run away, won't they? We could do it with swordsmen only. And take the hoplites behind the slingers. And the cavalry behind these. The slingers and hoplites in general will still make it to the top while the swordsmen will try to intercept any of these. Yeah, I think that's a good idea because it will still give me some units which will Oh, we could just Yeah, now we can see a huge force is coming to support of uh, support these units so yeah they're trying to take advantage of the spearmen against my uh, rather not good functional and the same with the slinger so that's a very bad thing I'd, I must say So we're trying to cross these as fast as we can. And the same with these. And right now it's looking quite good. Right now we're going to make sure we are not getting flanked too much, but we can't avoid it. Um, yeah, and our general is hitting the enemy as hard as they can. Now they're going to take out the missionary hillman and our general is just going to make sure that their missile unit is paying with their lives for messing with us. Our slingers is not doing much of a job anymore because we are actually pushing the enemy quite hard back um, uh, again as I stated earlier there's no doubt in my mind that we have a pr professional army and because of that we might win some battles more easily that it's uh, states in the auto resolve and this is definitely one of the cases this battle is not just looking good it's looking very good don't know if every unit is has arrived as of yet but yeah it looks like they haven't it looks like the army from the sea haven't combined with this but that's just stupid from our enemy sign point because if they had decided to wait they should have been able to not just crush us but really uh, cause havoc in our units and right now they have lost lost many many units because they might have chosen to attack us too early that is of course a good advantage for us oh I had not seen this so we're going to make sure we hit him in the rear right now and our general is just well knocking down units so get in line I want you to line up here and 
Yeah, destroy him. Before the route. Destroy him. Javelin in the back and just shatter them totally. Yeah. Now the swordsmen, which are holding very good, is just getting annihilated now because they can overrun. I know I probably should have surrounded them more properly, but it's not necessary. Yeah. The reason why it wasn't necessary is because, well, the amount of units I was sending towards them, that is enough in itself. Well, slingers just charge them. Don't care about mobs, just kill them. You can do that yourself. Yeah, even more units are arriving in right now, so I think this battle is far from over yet, but it's definitely, definitely looking very, very good. Now, we're going to take our hoplites, and well, if they could, it would be awesome, but they can't. Hmm. So, we're going to take our hoplites and Pontus, swordsman. To stand behind our slingers and we'll ask them to walk. Our slingers will stand ready in case of an army coming from down here. And right now we will be toying with our general. We want to get as many kills as possible. I just, I will say that. <sighs> One thing they haven't uh, resolved as of yet is the bad, bad, bad mechanics in chase. I do believe, or I do myself uh, think it worked a lot, lot better in uh, kingdoms. But it definitely is not working that great in Rome too. I s I'm sad to say this because I really like this game. I really really like it but I have to be honest about uh, some things I believe they could improve to the next expansion or next game or whatever they are planning. Of course there would be some kind of expansion. None of us have any doubts about this and I do look forward to what it is but I do also think, like many others, it's a shame that they make so much DLC content to the game. I can understand from a business side why you are doing it, because of fools like me who buy everything, almost. I have decided for once not to buy the, uh, the blood content as of yet. I will probably uh, buy it at some point, but right now I do not feel the need for it and we are uh, we are very close to Christmas and I do not have that many money because yeah it's not a cheap time we're going into and had to go to dentist and yeah some other expenses so yeah Cash is not something I have a lot of. These men are just too tired to run anymore. And now my calorie, which also is quite tired. So we're going to give them second win. And now we can just run you down like nothing. Kill, kill, kill. Now, this army from the sea is slowly advancing towards us. I like the fact that they haven't been able to join the battle. Uh, if I were a military commander, I would definitely be pissed to arrive by sea to help our allies and when I arrive discover they already chose to take the battle alone and lose, lose terribly. It makes no sense in any way to do it like this but it is a game there are some flaws in the AI the AI should have surrounded me make sure I did not leave the area maybe and 
waited for reinforcement to arrive because they were on the way. Now this army is heading in front of the newly arrived reinforcements. Again, not a good uh, AI because right here, that's what about at least 450, 500 at least. So if you look upon like that, they should have waited because let's just say 500 to make it more even number. 500 units is a lot of units to miss in a battle. And this is the second force of the reinforcements. Now if you take all of these in, it's about probably a thousand units, if not even, probably around 1200 units they have decided to leave behind and say we can do without those units. First off, that's a lot of units. Second of all, if I don't remember miscorrect, that was the most dangerous force. So the best unit they had, they did not choose to use when they first attacked me. I know they are pressured by time and probably the reason why I did it, but <sighs> most of the time I like to play with unlimited time. The reason why I don't de do this is because my ex experience from especially Shogun 2 and I do not think it was a was an issue in medieval two or kingdoms, or I did not, ex um, I did not see it as often at least. In Shogun two, I saw often where the enemy attacked me, and they just stayed outside my walls and did not choose to attack me. When the timer is unlimited, the battle does not end until I draw them towards me. So I had to leave my castle and attack them. That really sucked and I do not know if the AI would do it in room 2 but I have heard from some friends who experienced it and fortunately from Shogun 2 I just from the start when I started playing set a timer on 60 so I do not know if it's still a big issue um, but well, an hour to a bell is also quite enough, and we are already on 37 minutes, so yeah. We're going fast forward this, so we can get this episode over with, because right after ba this battle, we're going to save and pick it up in next episode. But I'm really getting hooked on this uh, Pontus campaign right now, because it's a lot of fun really and some exciting things is happening to be honest now we go in precision shot and kill the general <laughs> wow well again so sometimes the mechanics in this game is just not that good or well fought yeah now the general is wavering and he's going to run quite soon yeah he died. So now this army does not have that general, which makes them even more uh, likely to start running. I don't mind it, uh, personally, don't mind it at all. So we're going to charge them right now. And hopefully we will kill them swiftly. Yeah, it, it does look like this is going to be a fast match. I like the fact to see them charge like oh, 
Charles against him with his shield bashed to him, throw away his oh hit his shield away from him, and then take him over your shield and throw him around. That looks awesome. Again, a heroic victory. We lost only 400 and they lost 2900 out of the 47. I will say we would have lost not not necessarily a lot more, but we would have lost at least 200 more, if not more, if they had waited on this main army. So the reason why they had this issue is because they did not work together. They did not. And that is costing them quite dearly right now because next turn we will have Antioch. But as soon as this load is over, we're going to end this episode. I want to say thank you for watching my video. Please like, subscribe if you want, want to see more of my videos. Please come with tips or anything to me in the uh, comments or message me with anything. Thoughts, uh, tips, anything. I would like to read them. First of all, we had a noble death. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, an admiral. That's why. Apparently. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.